Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Friends, today I'm going to show you how to scan MRI knee joint on G1.5 Tesla. Model is Brevo MR355. I had already posted on MRI knee joint scan, but that was in Hindi language. But today I am going to post this video in English language okay so we are on the entry desk first of all you have to fill the patient data here you have to write down the name patient ID age then you have to write down scan area this is left knee so in exam description you have to write down left knee from here you have to select protocol, show all protocols, click over here, you have to select the protocol, click. I have kept over here left knee joint protocol, so wherever you have kept that protocol you have to select then enter, then accept, now start scan. First of all you have to take pre-plan localizer, so accept. Save RX. First of all, I am going to take localizer that is three plane localizer. So, save RX scan. Before scanning, you should always take patient history, what complaints they are having. Okay, some might be having only pain, some might be having trauma. So, according to that, you have to plan the images. So, always before scanning, you should ask patient history. Now, the three plane localizer has displayed. So, first of all, I am going to take axial image. After generating axial image, I will plan rest of the sequences, okay? See the angulation of the axial image is slightly tilted, that doesn't matter. If you want a straight localizer, so what you have to do, simply select the localizer, copy and paste and again double click open and keep on keep on this previous localizer and you can re relocalize okay so first of all i am taking axial fspd 4 mm thickness spacing is 1 i am a, i am giving angulation over your in this axial box okay so i will get a good true axial image slightly i am increasing the spacings 1.2 from your patella is starting so you have to take one image extra from patella to over here tibia fibula This is the angulation of axial image. Okay, you can see this box. I am always repeating one, one thing. Always I am repeating that if you want axial image, you have to plan on sag and coronal. If you want coronal, you have to plan on sag and axial. If you want sag, you have to plan on coronal and axial. Okay, keep this thing in your mind always. So first of all, I am starting axial. FSPD. After I am getting axial PD, rest of the sequence I will plan on that. Okay, so my plan is ready. You have to click on the shim and keep the shim on the images. The shim will reduce the extra noise which is coming. Reset the SNR. Okay, save RX and start scan. Axial FSPD 
टाइम इज टू पॉइंट ट्वेंटी फोर सेकेंड ओके आफ्टर जनरेटिंग एक्जल पी डी आई विल प्लान सजेटल पी डी फैट सेट सो आई एम अपटिल द स्कैन इज गोइंग ऑन आई विल कीप रेडी माई नेक्स्ट सिक्वेंस सो वी विल क्लिक ऑन सैज फैट सेट पी डी डबल क्लिक ओपन सी In this sequence, I want Sage. I am planning on Angel and Coronal. Okay. We will close the shim. I am keeping ready everything. After generating Angel PD, I will simply enter the Angel images in Angel window, and I will plan according to that. My sagittal box is ready. This much area you have to cover. femur up to tibia fibula mainly we are scanning for the ligaments and soft tissues okay so no there is no need to cover large femur area this much is enough so my sag window is ready after generating angel i will show you how to plan rest of the sequences okay up till hold on see now my angel fat set pd is generated okay but thing is patient is slightly uncooperative images are showing motion artifacts so i will again copy this angel fat set image and i will run again you have to just copy and paste click over here and paste so it will come next to that previous sequence slightly motion artifacts so that so i have to rescan the angel fat set pd so now i am i i got the angel fat set pd now i am planning rest of the sequence so double click on the sag fat set pd click on this angel window enter the angel fat set P P D C. Click on this black box. First of all, you have to click on this window. Then after click on this tool box. Select this Excel P D. Okay. Now Excel P D fat set is in Excel window. Okay. So now according to this, we have to plan rest of the sequence. I will reduce spacing zero point eight. You have to see these condyles, and you have to plan perpendicular to both the condyles, lateral and medial. Okay. I am taking right to left. means medial to lateral patella is dislocated no, i am increasing the spacing because laterally image is not covered okay keep in mind is both the condyles and take perpendicular to both the condyles So you are my Sag fat set PD. Planning is ready. Put shim on the images. I told you why we are using shim. It will reduce the noise and give good images. Sag fat set PD planning ready. Now click on Sag PD without fat set and copy. Click on this RX box. We have already planned fat set PD, so select that. Select shim volume from here and accept. Same plan has been copied. We can copy axial from axial, coronal from coronal, and sagittal from sagittal. So, both the sag is ready. I am taking sag GRI, so I am clicking on sag GRI. Double click, open. click on this arc box select any of the sag select shim accept 
सेम साइज इज रेडी सो माई साइज फैट सेट पी डी साइज विदाउट फैट सेट एंड साइज ग्रेडियंट थ्री सिक्वेंस आर रेडी नाउ आई एम प्लानिंग कोरोनल फैट सेट पी डी डबल क्लिक ऑन द कोरोनल इमेज क्लिक ऑन द एक्जल विंडो आई एम क्लोजिंग द शेम आई एम शोइंग हाउ टू प्लान कोरोनल ओके now you have to see this femoral condyles and you have to plan you have to plan parallel to both femoral condyles okay see one image is is passing from matlab like it is parallel to both the femoral condyles like this you can plan coronal image coronal sequence on from axial images see keep in mind this what the femoral condyles you have to take parallel for coronal sequence so this is how my coronal sequence and just scroll up and down and see whether you are covering whole of the area or not After display, I will show you how image is looking. Slice thickness is three mm, spacing is one. See the box, box of the coronal. This much area you have to cover. Okay, keep the shim on. Save R X. now i am copying now i am planning coronal t1 simply double click on the sequence select this rx window copy from that fat set pd select shim see same sequence has been copied i'll told you if you want coronal you can copy from coronal you can copy axial from axial you can copy sag from sag okay so my Scan is ready, axial ready, sag ready, coronal ready. Now I am planning sag T two thin for ACL and PCL. See the box is already ready. You have to oblique this sequence because in axial images we can see the uh, ACL is going like this. so you have to take perpendicular like this so you will get a good acl image mainly i am taking this for acl only thin sections are there for acl pcl tear 2 mm thickness zero spacing keep the shim on the images Sevarex. This is how you have to plan all the sequences. Okay, I think you got everything. Protocol is axial fat set PD, sagittal fat set PD, coronal fat set PD, sag T two thin for ACL and PCL, sag PD without fat set, coronal T one and sag gradient. This is the standard protocol. If a consultant want any other sequence, you can ask them. See. Sagittal fat set PD is also ready. I will show you one by one all the sequences after it will get display. Up till hold on. So friends, now I will show you maximum sequence got display. First, this is sagittal fat set PD. I will tell you one thing. you should scan msk in 3 mm because 3 mm gives high resolution and better quality so always use 3 mm scan thickness for msk this is sagittal t2 thin sections 
और ए सी एल एंड पी सी एल दिस इज पी डी विदाउट फैट सेट यू कैन टेक सजाटल टी वन ऑल्सो इंस्टेड ऑफ पी डी विदाउट फैट सेट ओके इट विल ऑल्सो वर्क दिस इज कोरोनल टी वन Now my last sequence is running is sagittal gradient. Patient is having patellar dislocation, I think. See, now my last sequence also got display. This is sag gradient. So this was the knee scan for today. Hope you got understand everything. If you are having any query, you can ask me in comment section. I will reply. Please like, share, and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more updates. Thanks for watching.